What do I mean by the dark side? <laughs> so I basically, when I talk about the dark side, I refer to entities that are parasitical. And, uh, you know, in the religion, in Christianity, you would call them demons. In uh, maybe Islam, they would call them jinn. In uh, shamanism, they are just considered evil spirits, whatever. There is a relationship between the shadow aspect and the dark side, the negative entities, because the shadow element, so our own behavior, attracts the negative entities. So these two things are correlated. There's another element to the role of the shadow and the dark side in our evolution as a soul and our growth. This is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism, shamanism and all sorts of relevant related subjects. So welcome. If you are new here, please subscribe. This is already episode 50 something. So have a look at previous episodes as well. And today I want to talk about so-called shadow aspect and the dark side and what is their role in our growth, in evolution of the soul and in our personal growth because they're not only negative, there is actually a place for them, you know, they have their own role to help us to grow. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start by explaining what do I mean by the shadow or the dark side. So we use this term shadow and this comes from concepts created by Carl Gustav Jung, the shadow. So Jung's concept of the shadow refers to the unconscious parts of an individual's personality that they reject, deny or suppress. These aspects of the self that are considered negative, undesirable or even shameful. Examples of the shadow may include traits such as anger, jealousy, selfishness, greed or sexual desire that an individual may not want to acknowledge or express. Other examples are things like offensive behavior towards others, self-sabotage, deceiving others, etc. Yeah, so basically, you know, we are using this term, the shadow, to very broadly describe all the negative parts of personality, behaviors, etc. This is not exactly what Young was talking about, right? But currently this term shadow is being used in all sorts of ways in psychology and personal development and I'm using it here to describe the negative aspects of ourselves. Second thing, what do I mean by the dark side? <laughs> so I basically, when I talk about the dark side, I refer to entities that are parasitical. And uh, you know, in the religion, in Christianity, you would call them demons, in uh, maybe Islam, they would call them jinn. In uh, shamanism, they are just considered evil spirits, whatever. So there are entities, archonic, reptilian, other types of beings that are parasitical, service to self oriented, and they occupy typically fourth, fifth density, sometimes sixth even. So they are beyond our frequency that we can decode here. They are more advanced than humans, and they are very clever in manipulating humanity in very clever ways. So people don't even know that they are manipulated and the religions and different belief systems would have, would pick a little bit of that here and there and try to explain it in their own ways. So when I talk about the dark side, I basically just describe negatively polarized entities, parasitical entities, different types 
that are feeling of emotions very often. So now I, I want to talk about the codependency between humans and negative entities. So if, let's say, humanity would evolve differently, last few hundred years, if there would be no greed, no ego-based behavior, selfish behavior, all the negative things that are on this planet, if people would be evolving differently, let's say, or you know, would live differently over the last few hundred years, for example, where there would be kindness, love, there would be no negative entities almost because they can only feed off negative emotions. So if people change, they don't have much to do here. <laughs> so in a way, there is a codependency. And uh, by the way, like when we are talking about negative emotions, like in religions, for example, you have in Christianity, seven deadly sins, lust, greed, jealousy, whatever, or some of the like commandments, like do not kill, do not steal, adultery, whatever, these types of things. This is all negative behavior, which comes from the shadow, right? And that feeds and attracts negative entities, right? So if people would behave differently, there would be love, there would be no selfish behavior, no ego-driven behavior, Negative entities have nothing to do here because they cannot feed off anything here. Quite the opposite. Actually, they hate the energy of love. So, so you know, they, they stay away from that. So there is dependency. That's first thing to remember. I like to use uh, similar examples. So let me give you a similar analogy here. What happens when you are out of balance? Let's say you eat a lot of junk food. You are constantly stressed. What happens? with your body. You basically weakening your immune system, right? You have cortisol levels going up, inflammation. And basically what happens is that different parasitical organisms, whatever it is, bacteria, parasites, fungi, viruses, whatever, they can now affect your health. But they can only do it if you are unhealthy, if you don't keep yourself in check. Obviously, you know, there is way more to it because it depends on the strength of these things. But I'm talking in general that when we keep ourselves out of balance, you know, the parasitical organisms can cause disease, can feed of us, right? And when we are in balance, our immunity is strong and typically it's hard for them to affect us, right? The same now happens to the mind on a big scale. So we have microbes that feed of you if you are out of balance physically, and then we have macrobes, let's call them, that feed of your emotions, you know, your thoughts, your negative behavior for the mind. As above, so below. These are microscopic, these are bigger because it's a higher density. And these are very simple, these are very complex. As above, so below. <laughs> there is a, always a relationship in the way the, the whole system works. Now, there is a relationship between the shadow aspect and the dark side, the negative entities, because the shadow element, so our own behavior, attracts the negative entities. So these two things are correlated. The more we heal ourselves, the society heals themselves, they are in balance, in love, <laughs> the less of the negative entities want to influence humanity because they, there is nothing for them to do here. Now, there is another element to the role of the shadow and the dark side in our evolution as a soul and our growth. So the whole idea of evolution of the soul is that you want to gain more wisdom, for example. And to gain more wisdom, the only way really to do it is to go through challenges. So same way like, you know, you want to have a beautiful body, you go to the gym. What do you do? You go through a lot of pain, lift weights, sweat, you know, you have pain, blah, blah, blah. That's how you build 
strength in your body, stronger muscles, etc. Right? But the same happens with experience, with gaining wisdom. You, you gain wisdom when you overcome the struggle, the challenge, you go through difficult situation, you learn how to overcome that situation, and now you have experience, knowledge, and everything required, and this is how you gain wisdom. And in a way, the dark side is a catalyst for that, because let's let me show you an example. So let's say addiction. Someone is addicted to something, um, you know, science will tell you that addiction is maybe caused by some kind of uh, trauma, some kind of trigger from childhood, whatever. And then, you know, someone gets addicted, the repetitive behavior creates some kind of uh, neural pathways that allow for addiction to continue, things like that. This is true to some extent, but the mechanism behind addiction very often is actually parasitical entities that feed off someone who delivers them the emotions that they desire. I've met people, psychics, who have abilities to see beyond, you know, this uh, frequency that we can decode here. And they would tell me, oh, you know, there was this guy, he had some drug problem, fell on the floor, these shadow beings would jump on feet of him. Or someone comes back from the party on drugs, there is like a black orb entering him. Different people who have senses developed farther, they would tell me these stories. And I, I understand this stuff, so this is very obvious to me, but basically this is the mechanism of addiction in most cases, that there are parasitical entities behind that. It's not just what the science says. So let's say someone is addicted, they overcame their addiction, they got out of it, now they gain a lot of strength, a lot of wisdom. They overcame the dark side that was trying to hold them down. This is exactly the role of the dark side because you try to, it tries to keep you down in all sorts of way, right? But then, you know, you learn the lessons and you want to get out of it and you grow. And without it, without the challenge, you would not grow. You would get lazy. <laughs> if there are no challenges, no difficulties, people get lazy, complacent, you know, and uh, there is no growth. And uh, really the whole idea of the, the purpose, let's say, of evolution of the soul, when we go through densities as positive entities, you want to get into a level where there is a balance between wisdom and love. That's when we become higher selves. And, uh, you know, the challenges allow you to gain wisdom and the dark side trying to push you this way, that way. So you overcome that, that how you learn that as well. So this is the role also of the negative, of the dark side of the shadow. There's also an interesting thing in the law of one, for example, they say that the service to self path, which is the path of the negative entities, it wasn't like that always. There was only one polarity, apparently, or one, one path. And you, you know, people would get bored or entities would get bored, not really accelerate, not grow so much because it's just easy all the time. So the choice to become negatively polarized as service to self was introduced by the source to have more kind of uh, interesting game, let's say. So that's an interesting thing. Finally, I want to just say one more thing about how the shadow element is also keeping us in check. And, uh, you know, if you don't clear your shadows, if you don't overcome your own uh, patterns, then it kind of holds you back. It, it's like the weight keeping you from evolution. So this is also a role because basically everything we do creates opposite towards us. So if I'm selfish, greedy, whatever, sooner or later, same gonna happen towards me. And I cannot clear the behavior that, you know, until I gonna clear myself, that's gonna keep coming back at me all the time. Whatever is unresolved in us sooner or later will reflect the same towards us or will 
will block us one way or another. So let me quickly give you an example. I mentioned that in some previous videos, but basically I have this pattern, the shadow. I wasn't even like fully aware of it. That, you know, I like to be right about things because I'm very passionate about knowledge and being, you know, and truth and all these kind of things, especially when I know a lot about the topic and I get into a discussion with someone who knows nothing or very little or I can clearly see they don't know much about it. They think they know whatever. I, I, I'm gonna try to prove, you know, I'm right here because you, you don't know or whatever. So this was my pattern, right? And, and it's still probably a little bit, but basically I became aware of it because it was just so normal to me that I didn't even notice that when I'm doing it. And uh, the idea is you shouldn't be right about everything let people have their own views perspectives that's it right so this is a shadow negative element that i'm producing i'm creating now i wasn't aware of it fully and uh, what started happening i started attracting people in situations especially the last couple of months where the same was reflected towards me or this element would block us so we would get into argument and i and the person didn't want to like deal with me afterwards or something because I was trying to be right about things or or whatever like interesting situation was with this uh, hypnotherapy that I've been doing with uh, this woman and it was really unique method that really opened me to a new method really interesting but you know before we had a session I, I just had a call with her and, and she has a very very strong authority same like me really strong on like the spiritual topics and uh, and we had a disagreement on some of the biggest topics for me i was like i i literally ended up arguing with her and i was like we ended up on like with a little kind of uh, argument let's say and i was like i don't want to do session with her you know she's like arrogant whatever blah blah, blah. and then i realized okay this is my own pattern that I just attracted towards me, being right, trying to be right. She, I attract her person who has a, something similar, but now if I want to have a session with her, I just need to shut up and be polite, be nice to her and allow her to do the, her stuff, even if we don't agree on some of the things. And I realized that, so I allowed her to work and I just decided I'm not gonna argue, I'm not gonna say whatever, let her think what she thinks. And she helped me a lot. She was like really influential now. I discovered a very interesting method. So this is the thing, you see, you wanna evolve higher, you wanna get more, you might have your own pattern blocking you your own shadow that's not gonna allow you to go higher and farther. So this is another element, another role of the shadow aspect that is basically gonna be blocking you until you're gonna resolve it, until you're gonna notice where is the problem. It's just gonna be keep coming back at you one way or another, one form or another. It's kind of like this weight keeping you down and you gotta heal it here, clear that, so the weight is out and then you don't attract situations reflecting that towards you. So another interesting role of the shadow as a catalyst for growth and evolution of the soul. Hope this makes some sense. Please let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, please like the video if it makes sense, if you enjoy it, share the video if you can on social media if you want to work with me i do one-on-one -on -one coaching spiritual development personal development building personal brand online things like that a couple of different options go to truefuge.com forward slash coaching have a look what's going on there i do now half an hour initial consultation free of charge nothing to lose get in touch if you want me to work with you on some of the things if you like our content, consider becoming a patron supporter. It's patreon.com forward slash true theory. It really helps a lot. And also follow me on Instagram. It's Mike Saigula on Instagram. So thanks for watching another episode of True Spirituality. Until next time.